Hello outlaws and hello campers. It's Jack. Welcome back to the channel. Or if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. Um, what I got for you guys today is uh, the beginning, the start of my new hot tent series. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. Uh, you guys already know because it's the title of this video. Um, I just want to say uh, thank you for coming aboard. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for checking this out. Somewhat less than faithful companion uh, Laces is out here. Uh, Sassy's around someplace. Um, you'll, you'll be seeing those guys. Uh, but you're not here to see the dogs, man. You're here to see the new hot tank. Here it is, guys, in the bag. Um, really hasn't come out of the bag yet. This thing came in. Oh. Uh, Man, about a week ago, um, I announced uh, the arrival of the new hot tent in my last uh, video. And uh, thank you everybody for checking that out. Um, what I'm gonna try and do today is get this thing set up and uh, hopefully, maybe we'll actually get to do some camping in it, um, you know, this weekend. We'll see, you never know what's gonna happen here at Outlaw. Um, I do wanna mention before I really get into this that there's no way that this would be possible at all without uh, my fans, my subscribers, and especially my shady benefactors. That's why I got this hot tag. Um, so seriously, thank you shady benefactors. that's been said uh let's get into this hot tag um this thing is a beast let me tell you man oh it weighs about 45 pounds um so this is not something you're gonna be taking camp or uh, backpacking with you um you're definitely this is like a car camping type thing and i'm thinking that right over here is probably about where i should set it up just because you know this is the driest spot I got right over here. I'd really like to be setting this up in the front yard. Um, do some front yard hot tank camping. That's going to happen, but I'm not sure when. Uh, plus, this is the first time setting this thing up. So, uh, I think back here, you know, why make more of an ass out of myself than I normally do? Um, I'm trying to find a fairly flat spot. Free of debris. Uh, it's really not going to happen. But this is looking, this is looking like where it's going to go. Um, it's uh, a little bit afternoon right now. Um, it's about 45 degrees. So definitely, um, you know, hot tent weather. Uh, it's supposed to drop down below freezing tonight. Who knows if I'll get into this or not. But, you know, I can't get into it until I get into it. Um, but yeah, man, this is it. This is the uh, Vivor. 3m hot tent uh or camping tent uh i think i just call it canvas bell tent uh, nothing like uh you know doing research before i uh spend uh the money that my shady benefactors uh sent me um you know but hey man thanks a lot uh, hopefully this is going to be a good uh you know a little misadventure for you guys you guys should be used to uh my uh crappy uh Camera angles, Dutch angles, whatever you want to call them. Uh, here it is, man. I've got the instructions, which I know I'm going to need. Uh, here's our bag of pegs. Uh, tent stakes, you know, depending on your geographic vernacular. We got some of these. Uh, these. Uh, oh, look at this. I didn't even know these were in here. Um, are they all like this? I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess. Well, um, yeah, hey man, uh, we're gonna need these. So let's uh, set these over here. Got this cordage, uh, guy lines, I'm guessing, uh, with these adjusters. I don't know what they're really called. I don't know how to use them, but we're gonna find out. Throw that over there. Uh, these are the, uh, the tent poles. And here is the actual, oh man, this is heavy. Ah, oh, God, man alive, ah silica gel guys i told you guys about this before 
it says throw away do not eat um you don't want to eat them but you don't want to throw them away um you know after my winter hammock camp the uh disaster that that was uh, where i almost lost this camera um which seems to be working uh, fine enough for right now um these things saved my camera so don't throw these things away guys save them you know put them someplace where you're not accidentally going to eat them all right yeah here's the bulk of the thing um oh look at this these straps these are nice um very nice uh, clips on them and uh i don't want to lose these i really should have the instructions out but i don't um let's get her laid out here and figure this out oh. So uh, here she is laid out. Um, I'm not exactly sure where the door is, but I think I gotta find that out. Um, this thing is beautiful. I mean, so far. Uh, okay, there's a window. Uh, we're gonna see, man, where the hell is the door? Definitely gotta get the instructions. Um, I'm guessing this is the door right here, uh, or maybe not. I don't freaking know, man. Wait, nope. There's the door. All right, we're gonna rotate this around because who wants a view of the house, you know? We want a view of the golf course and all the crap that I've left out here all winter. Whew, I'm already winded. That's not good. Well, that's okay, man. That's what the cigarettes and beer are for, right? Okay, pretty much here. Uh, told me to uh, lay the tent flat on the ground find that yeah you guys can't see that okay told me to uh, lay the tent flat on the ground find the location of the door rotate it so it faces the direction I want I think I pretty much got that um, next we got uh, step three take out the small nails which I'm assuming are these tent stakes that's what it looks like in the picture um, Titan uh, moisture proof bottom cloth. Moisture proof, that's gonna come in handy. Uh, nail, the ground nail on the chicken eye buckle. Okay, like that. Uh, hmm. Well, let's get that part done. Of course, um, there. I can't find my little uh, camping hammer. Um, I don't know what I did with it, uh, like most of my stuff. Looks like Sassy wants to go inside. Uh, all right, let's let these guys back in. All right, girls, go ahead. There you go. Uh, but what I do have is this old beat up hammer. Uh, I used to use this for batoning wood. You guys have seen that. Might see it again. Definitely not something you want to baton wood with. Should work to get these nails in. Never heard them called nails before. I guess I don't even need the hammer. All right. Do you guys really need to see me do this whole thing? Probably not. Um, I'll see what I can do. Then I'll just bring you back. Uh, you guys all know how uh, tent pegs, tent stakes, or as they're now called, nails work. Um, looks like we're gonna have some company out in the golf course. Uh, Someone decided that uh, they were gonna trust a golf course employee with a chainsaw. Either that or it's just some random dude with a chainsaw running rampant on the golf course. 
Yeah, I can I can dig on that. All right. Um, I guess I got it staked out. As uh, staked out as it's gonna get. Um, you know, it don't look like much now. You know, I went online. Uh, you know, on the YouTube uh, where I always tend to go, and uh, there's really not a lot of instruction on how to get this thing set up. Um, so, hey man, maybe this will help somebody out. Um, it's saying, now, step four is to tie the wind rope to the wind rope mouth and turn. Um, I'm assuming that this is wind rope. I have no idea. I don't know what a wind rope mouth is. Uh, let's take a look. Um, maybe it's these things. These look like they could be mouths. Uh, somebody who talks as much as I do, you think I'd be more familiar with what a mouth is. Oh boy, this has turned out to be more of a project already than I thought it was gonna be. But, uh, you know, bear with me guys, like you usually do. I don't even have to ask that. You guys are the best. All right guys, uh, I'm assuming that these are the uh, mouth things I'm looking for. Um, this is not gonna look like what it looks like in the instructions. Uh, but you know, man, the Navy didn't want me and uh, I was kicked out of the Boy Scouts a long time ago. So uh, you guys should be used to my, you know, I don't know how to tie a knot type thing. Um, and, and this tent's probably gonna need some adjustments. Um, that's just how I'm gonna do it for right now. Uh, you can see I got them all. All the uh, guy lines, ropes, cordage, whatever the hell it's called. Whoa, yeah, this tripod, man. Obviously, I haven't gotten a new one yet. Uh, but here we go. I guess the next step is uh, one of the tent poles. So, <laughs> that should be interesting. Um, you know, I'm not really sure this is exactly where I want this thing. But uh, this is where it's going to go for right now. Now, of course, uh, they don't sell this thing as a hot tent, uh, specifically. But... Oh yeah, there we go. It has a stove jack. Uh, I was worried about that. Um, I do have my stove jack from uh, the old hot tent, which I was like, man, am I gonna be able to put it in here or not? I guess I really don't need to worry about that. So that is cool, and I'm glad I checked it out before I set this thing up. Um, I guess the next step here, uh, there's the other tent stakes. Uh, yeah, I guess I did the wind rope, wind mouth thing. Uh, assemble the center pole, find the top center of the tent, push up the pole until it's vertical. Well, I've never been one to have a problem with pushing anything up until it's vertical. So, uh, this should go smoothly. Okay, I'm guessing this is the uh, center pole. Um, it doesn't really tell you in the instructions. So, uh, it does go together all right um i'm guessing that these things are probably for hanging stuff off of i hope so because this is the way i'm going to put it in um it seems sturdy enough but let's see if i can get it in this tent well door is open enough well enough hey look at this man got some nice uh Mosquito bug netting. These zippers, I'll show them to you. They're, uh, they seem pretty sturdy. Uh, all right, uh, I'm going in. Wish me luck. Um, obviously it's going to need some adjustments. So, ah, there we are. Ah, my God. Yeah, rope, everything. Here we are inside of here. Uh, I, I'm guessing that's how that thing goes. And it's just kind of sitting down there. You can see it's, oh, I thought it was chewed up. It's not, it's just, uh, you know, 
leftover material from the uh, probably horrible sweatshop in China where this thing was built. Um, it's not looking too bad in here. It's a lot more room than I really thought that I was going to have. But then again, the tent is not actually set up. I'm just going to try it like this. All right, now it's telling me to take out the uh, V-shaped door pole, which I'm guessing is this thing. Enter the tent, put the metal nail on the top of the V-shaped door frame. Pass it through the matching hole in the canvas on the door. Yeah. Uh, you can see I already got some mud in there. At least I'm going to pretend that that's mud. Ugh. I already have a feeling that I probably should not have put this together until I was inside. Um, let's go like this. Yeah, I hope this comes in handy for somebody. Man, chainsaw guy, he's having a good time. Um, it looks like this is what they meant by doornail. I don't know if that black part's supposed to be on there. I'll tell you guys, it's already pretty warm in here. Um, it looks like the bottoms here, uh, this this pole just fit into these things. So that's nice. Uh, I'm going to try and get this one in. This thing, somehow, I got to push uh, into here. Uh, yeah. The other one went in a lot easier. But, okay guys. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm a little concerned about this. Does not seem sturdy at all. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, do a little adjustment on that. Uh, so far, man, it's looking pretty good in here. Uh, I'm sorry about the banging around. You guys know my camera troubles and uh, all this other stuff. Um, let me see what the next step is. Uh, Oh, yeah, I guess I just went right beyond that. Uh, fix the poles on both sides of the tent door until it stands up. Yeah, I did that. And then I got to put a black ring cap on top of the V-frame outside the tent. That thing, man, I don't know. I don't know about this black. Whoa. I don't know about this black cap here. Maybe it's supposed to come off. Yeah, guys. I was right. This is uh, this little black cap is supposed to come off. Uh, goes like that. Um, as you can see, I'm assuming that there is going to be a uh, black ring cap somewhere in this mess. This is probably it. And hey, man, look at this. You don't you don't see this a lot in stuff that you order. Um, it came with a little extra. Sort of, oh, I see. Hold on. Yeah, don't open stuff like that, kids. Oh, extra rain cap and extra. That's nice. How long do you think it'll be before I lose these? All right, let's get this on there so we can keep moving on, man. Look at this monstrosity. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Oh, man. Well, maybe not the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen, but it's the most ridiculous thing I've seen lately. I'll take a walk around here. Uh, I'm assuming once I pull all these ropes out, it'll look more like a tent. Because now, I don't even know what it looks like. Um, I just don't even know if I got this set up right. But I'm guessing this little cap here should go on yeah how is this like with this tiny hole supposed to fit over this thing all right i obviously i can't film and do that well all right uh this thing man it's a bitch to get on but i got it on and i'm guessing that goes like that um i'm i'm really i'm not confident about this but you know i've never really been confident about anything that i do here at outlaw camp um so now it's telling me uh the wind rope is symmetrically tightened the ground nail 45 degrees at the ground blah 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 yeah all right um i guess i gotta get those other pegs out or tent stakes or whatever 
and uh, yeah, let's uh, because it just tells me, you know, to use them, hit not how, but you know, what would you expect from tent instructions? So I'm guessing that's these, and I pull it all out, and then uh, we'll see what this thing looks like. Um, I can't wait to try and do that with these ropes, which I don't have on there securely. Um, you know, I always preach practice with your stuff, but uh, the one thing that I should preach even more is don't do anything that I do. I don't know, guys. We might be able to do some hot tent camping tonight. But I don't want to get out of myself. So, all right, guys. Um, you know, I think I got this thing about as good as it's going to get. Um, these ropes, those metal things, whatever they are, to adjust the guy lines. You know, it's no secret, man. I don't know how to use them. But I think I got it secure enough. Uh, there's enough of them. Um, just take it for a little walk around here. This thing, I'm telling you guys, man, it's a palace compared to the old uh, hot tent. And, of course, the wind is up blowing. I mean, the sun's out, but the wind's blowing. It's not necessarily a bad thing, because uh, we'll get this aired out. Um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is, uh, well, you know, fuck it, man, let's go inside. Uh, everything's flapping in the, whoa. Everything's flapping in the breeze. Uh, look at this, man. I can stand up in here. Something I couldn't do with my other one. Um, I think I'm gonna get all these windows opened up. Uh, let it air out in here. And then probably, um, oh, this is nice too, man. Four vents. Um, so, you know, hopefully I won't die from uh, carbon monoxide poisoning. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do the thing where, you know, the bottom of this tent uh, rolls up um, You know, it's supposed to be a lot nicer uh, in the next couple of days Maybe we'll try that out, but I really want to try it out as a hot tent uh, Which was obviously, you know, it's intended purpose, but I'll tell you man. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this um, So let me get these windows opened up here and uh, We'll get some air flowing in here um, Get that factory smell out and uh then we might as well get the stove and see how that's gonna work in here yeah uh, if it does work in here might as well start with this one um this is really nice uh and yeah rolls right up you know um i haven't spent enough time in here to really give this a 100 percent uh outlaw camper seal of approval not that that means anything but um already i'm seriously digging on this hot tent um yeah let's uh yeah man i'm gonna open all these up uh, you know i don't know okay this one yeah i can see this being a pain in the ass with this pole in the way but not not enough not anything to complain about um i'm guessing oh okay here we go i don't know what this is for i should probably tie it around this pole maybe um yeah that seems seems good uh it can't hurt right um so yeah let me roll this up yeah, you can see, uh, th these are pretty sturdy, and I really like this, uh, you know, I'm going to be saying that over and over again, I hope, you know, um, of course, brand new, and, you know, Jesus Christ, come on, you know, it's been a long time since anybody's seen a monkey try and fuck a football, um, and that should be a staple here at Outlaw Camp. And I'll tell you guys, man, that's what's happening right now. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. He's always more of a hockey fan. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to take care of the rest of these windows. Uh, give me another tour around the outside. And we're going uh, to get the stove in here. See how that fits. Um, 
trying to take my time and not fuck anything up like I usually do. It's okay, outlaws and campers. Uh, I got the windows open and already it seems that I've messed up the uh, zipper thing for the bottom of these doors. That's okay. Luckily, it's not bug season. It is, however, gorilla season. Sasparilla, say hello to all your uh, fans. Yep. She's checking this out. She's not sure what to think of it. Uh, I don't think she's ever had this much room in a tent before. Right, pup? Uh, we gotta take our sunglasses out. What do you think, man? You digging on it? You know, camping tonight? Yeah. We probably will. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out this uh, zipper system. I'm thinking that somehow, okay, yeah, I see. It just connects on here like a regular zipper. But, you know, like I said, man, it's not bug season yet. We're a long way off from bugs. Um, it is a beautiful day. It's a good day to go camping, man. It's a good day to do some outlaw camping. And hopefully we can do that. Um, but, you know, the intended purpose of this tent, uh, hot tent. So, uh, you know, you can't have a hot tent unless you got your uh, tent stove in it so you can make it hot. So I'm gonna go grab the old uh, one tigress, uh, tiger roar, or whatever the hell you call it. We're gonna see if that thing will work in here. Um, I'm kind of hoping that it does. Um, if it doesn't, man, it's gonna be a cold night. <laughs> nah, I'm sure it'll work. If not, we'll make it work, because that's what we do. Man, this is awesome. I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate this. Oh, man alive. Look at this thing. It's, uh, it's fucking beautiful. Yeah. Um, stove jack over here. Windows are open. We'll walk around. So, uh, Vivor 3M uh, hot tent or tent, camping tent, whatever. You know, I'll flash stuff up and, uh, you know, I'll throw some specs up maybe. Who knows? I probably won't, but. You know, you guys will see it when you see it. Um, it looks a little uh, precarious right now. Um, but everything's precarious because this is outlaw camp. You know, I'm just thinking before I even get the stove down here, I should probably get this rolled up. Should make installation a little bit more uh, easy. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, already. I don't know guys uh, the opening's definitely big enough um, I think we'll be okay um, I do have my other stove jack which obviously won't fit on here but you know we gotta try it out I mean this thing is already performing uh, much better than advertised so you know, advertised by me or Whoever I got it from in New Jersey. Man, you know, it looks, it don't look sturdy, does it? But, you know, I'm, yeah, I think I'm still sick enough to be totally confident. I'm a little uncomfortable about a hot tent having a floor. Um, I love it. I mean, because this is just gonna make camping so much better in all kinds of weather. Um, you know, it won't be a swampy, muddy, disgusting mess in here. Um, this floor, you know, it's sturdy as fuck, but as far as, you know, with the flame thing. Um, but yeah, man, I went to the Harbor Freight this morning. Uh, all they had was like, you know, 10 foot welding blankets for like 50 bucks. Uh, you know, the smaller ones I wanted, they were like 20 bucks. They didn't have them. And, uh, you know, 30 bucks is 30 bucks, man. That's a lot of beer and cigarettes. And uh, I think I'm just going to hold out for a new one. Um, I know I got my old one somewhere. I'm going to go look for it. And, uh, you know, I know it's got some holes in it. But I think it'll do just because I'm, yeah, I don't, I don't want to ruin this floor yet. Plus, I don't even know if the, how the tent stove is going to work out with this. So, you know... Less talking, more camping. Uh, as promised, uh, I went and found the old, uh, what's left of my old welding blanket. 
And I got the stove out here. Uh, last seen when I uh, nearly <laughs> destroyed it in that uh, disastrous uh, other hot tent video. Uh, this thing's been out airing out for uh, quite some time. Uh, I know I'm down here. Oh, there's my somewhat less than faithful companions. There's Lisa's sassy's up there on the deck. Um, actually, up there on the deck, it's about 65 degrees. Uh, down here in the growing shadows, it's uh, 50 degrees. So, um, you know, it's also supposed to get down to, you know, below freezing tonight. So it could be some good uh, hot tenting. Uh, we'll find out. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to attempt to get the old uh, one tigress stove here into this uh, tent. Uh, yeah, man. Again, you know, I'm not backpacking or anything like that. Oh, man. There's so much room in here. This is amazing. Uh, um, you know, the thing is, like I said, I'm uncomfortable with uh, the floor in here as far as the stove. But I think I'm going to be okay even with what I got left of this, uh, this blanket. Um, I will get a new one. Don't worry about that. But, man, let's see if I can get the stove uh, set up in here. And, uh, you know, uh, one thing I do want to mention, I'm a little uh, disappointed. Uh, over here, you can see I've got the door, you know, kind of tied up. Uh, it seems to be missing something to attach uh, this door to. Am I going to send this tent back? Hell fucking no, man. I'm just going to rock it figure something out um but you know this is supposed to be a hot tent so let's see if we can uh turn it into a hot tent i'm telling you i really enjoy this built-in stove jack seems like it's gonna be okay uh, we'll find out when we get a fire going but of course we can't get a fire going uh, unless we got our uh, stove set up uh, attempt to be semi strategic and place the uh blanket that already it seems like it's going to be a good height and I think we're going to be okay um that looks good to me I don't know like it man what are you going to do uh you know actually with this floor um I, I know you don't want this to slide around but I think it'll be okay um I might actually get some uh, cinder blocks to place under this, but let's see how uh, how it works with the stove pipe. Uh, you know, got the uh, spark arrestor from Pamali, which I had to sort of jury rig. I think it's gonna be okay. Um, it's a pretty big opening, but you know, I'm not really worried about rain or anything tonight. And uh, there might actually be a way to get my uh, old uh man alive what the hell's wrong with me uh the tent the stove jack uh, my old stove jack and fix it over that just if i'm worried about rain and snow and stuff which i will be in the future but not for the next several months um so let me get some of these uh stove pipes in here and uh let's see how it goes um i might as well do it from the inside uh, you know, we're camping, so I really could care less, uh, hold on. Yeah, so I could really care less if things get, uh, dirty. Um, all right, so that's, man, that's pretty good. I mean, pretty good fit so far. Uh, need some adjustment. Man, this is gonna be awesome. Let's get back outside. Uh, see, any idiot can hot tent. Um, just pop that in there. Uh, you know, do I need the full length? <laughs> I may not need the full length, but she definitely will. Uh, here we go. Uh, of course, I got the, uh, you know, I could tie this out if I need to in the event of uh, high winds. I don't really want to curse myself because as we all know, the wind is my enemy. I should really have gloves on for this, so I don't 
fuck my hands up. All right, guys. Look at that. That's the thing of beauty. The thing of beauty is a joy forever. Okay, now. Uh, so back inside here, um, man, I'll tell you, with those shadows uh, growing over here, this 50 degree weather is uh, seeming a lot colder than it really is. Um, you know, I'm guessing this thing is sturdy enough as it is, although in reality, if I can lift her up a little bit, um, and I'm, I'm on a slope. I really don't want to kill this floor yet. I'm thinking I'm just going to grab two of those flat cinder blocks, lay them down underneath here, right on top of the welding blanket. And um, hopefully that won't turn into a fiery disaster. But I think we're going to be okay for the most part. Uh, there's only one way to find out, and that's to try it. But, you know... Man, with the room in here, I think this is going to work out pretty good for me. Um, but yeah, definitely. A uh, couple of cinder blocks under there. I don't know. Indecision may or may not be my problem. Well, there's the uh, gorilla checking this out. What you think about this? We got to make this look a little bit more roomy, huh? Or I mean, homey. Or whatever you say. Sassy's like, that's right. Uh, I think I'm going to... Um, I haven't decided about the cinder blocks. The ones I got up there, the, the flat ones, are just muddy as hell. And uh, I'm thinking I should probably try and keep this as clean as I can. Um, I'll give you one more once around. And then I think I'm going to grab the cot and get that in here. We'll see how it goes, man. And uh, hopefully get a fire going soon figure this out uh, do some outlaw camping like, let me out there's only one way out gorillas and that's the same way that you came in that's what she said all right guys uh so i got the uh stoves in there uh as precarious as it looks but it's in there and i got the old uh header height cot which you guys have seen uh, countless times before. I figured I'd save you the trouble of watching me set it up. I was doing that up there on the deck. Uh, but look at this, guys. <laughs> I can just walk right in here with this and not even have to worry about it. Um, I'm not sure where I want to put it. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, there's more than enough room in here. Um, this would be nice. I think over here uh, seems a little too close to the stove uh, although I like the fact of being able to have some vintage <laughs> is vintage word if it is in it is now um, some airflow up here um, I might set it up over here though you know shit man this is my video I can do whatever I want right yeah this seems a lot better like this um i don't know it's not bad and i still got all this room this is amazing oh man um i can uh, get nice my wood box there which i'm gonna get um we have a table a chair over there I think I, I think I might just uh, have the old have the old cot here, and uh, yeah, just kind of rock it like this. Oh man, alive! This is beautiful. Um, pretty much, guys. You know, um, that's it, man. You know, the Vivor 3M hot tank. Um, you know, I gotta figure out these zippers and stuff. But, um, you know, get a sleeping system in here, get some wood in here, uh, maybe a little table, a chair, because there's enough room for all of that. Oh, uh, man. I think we'll take uh, one last look at this thing, and then uh, maybe we'll wrap this up.
And, uh, you know, uh, we're going to try and do some camping in here, man. We're going to try and do some outlaw camping. I can't tell you guys how impressed I am with this and how much I want to thank all of my shady benefactors that contributed to this, uh, this tent. Um, I owe you guys, man. This is going to be great. But yeah, so here you go. Um, yeah. If all you got is what you got, that's all you got. <laughs> and, uh, this is looking pretty good. Uh, you know, I'll tighten this up before I get a fire going. Uh, I'll run around, do the, uh, you know, tighten up these uh, guy lines here, secure everything. And uh, I think we're going to do some camping on this. So hopefully you guys will all stay tuned for uh, that um, <laughs> fiasco. Or, well, hopefully it won't be a fiasco. But you'll see, man. You never know. Um, it's looking good. This is looking really good, guys. Um, you know, ain't much in there now. But it's going to look like home soon. And, you know, this is still an outlaw camp video. So, uh, before I do let you guys go, and we move on to the next installment of this uh, series, you guys all know what time it is. All right, guys. Um, so far, pretty successful, man. This uh, Vivor 3M hot tent, or camping tent, or whatever you want to call it. You've seen it. Um, if I can find some kind of link, I'll put it down in the description. But... Uh, Pretty much what I got to do, man, uh, it, it's been a long day of getting this thing set up, getting everything ready uh, for you guys and mostly for me. So, uh, and they're sassy. But anyway, now guys, uh, it's time, man. First of the day, first of the day, fellas, to Sean. Real wild outdoors, get wild. Uh, my buddy Sean there down in Gainesville, Florida. You guys know my uh, affinity for Gainesville Fest. Lacey's got to get in on this. Um, he's nearing like a thousand subscribers. Hopefully, he's already hit a thousand subscribers before you guys even see this. But if he hasn't and you haven't checked him out, please. Get over to Sean's channel, Real Wild Outdoors, link in the description. And uh, give him a like, give him a view, give him a subscribe. Um, man, here's to you, Sean. You've been a big supporter of mine. And I love your stuff. And I just, you know, more people need to check it out. So, yeah, man, that's all I got. <laughs> I mean, other than this awesome hot tank and a beer and a cigarette. So, all right, outlaws and campers, thanks for sticking with me through the uh, setup of this uh, precarious looking hot tank, which I assure you is not as precarious as it looks. Um, like I said, this is just going to be the uh, first in the uh, new hot tent series. Um, it's getting a little colder out here. Uh, I mean, we're down to about 45 degrees right now. The wind is blowing. The wind is my enemy. But I think this tent is going to do fine tonight. And pretty much what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go get a nice sleep system set up in here. Uh, maybe a chair, table, uh, a bunch of stuff because I got more than enough room. Um, I just want to say thank you once again to all my shady benefactors that made this possible um, it don't look like much now but it's going to look a lot better the next time you see it which should be the next installment in this uh, whatever I decide to call this hot tent series so um, you know if you guys like this man uh, you know your first time here or whatever um, tell your friends tell your enemies you know, because it's outlaw camp. I mean, expatriates are always welcome. There's cold beer, and there's never, ever any extradition. And um, that's pretty much all I got, guys. 
Uh, so stay tuned because uh, coming sooner than you want and faster than you expect is going to be the next uh, hot tent installment, uh, which means that I will be seeing all of you guys in the next ridiculous outlaw camper misadventure. Here's to you. Thank you all again. Yeah, man.